Hey there. Today, we're going to be talking about a really fun subject, and that is play in animals. So let's get a little introduction so that we're all on the same page here. So I'm sure you guys have seen dogs fetching sticks or cats playing with ribbons or maybe even your bird in a cage playing with some kind of toy. Well, these animals are doing something called object play. And object play is where obviously they play with an object and it helps these animals work on their cognitive and motor skills. And there are actually five rules of play to figure out if an animal or an organism is actually playing. So the first is that there's no purpose. The second is that it's free and natural. So it happens maybe on the spur of the moment. The third rule of play is that the play has to include different movements than functional behaviors. The fourth rule is that the movements in play has to be repeated, varied, and creative. Which brings me to rule number five. Um, their activities should be free from stress. So a lot of what's known about animal play comes from mammals. And so our researchers really wanted to know, do insects play? And they use this lovely little creature So what do they actually do? Let's talk about their methods. They designed an experiment where they could observe these bees doing play. So I'm just drawing their apparatus here. I'll explain it in a second. So over here on the right hand side is their nest box. So this is where the bees nested. There's a tunnel that goes into the experimental arena. And on one side, these are little wooden balls that are mobile. And on the other side, these are little wooden balls that are stationary. And then if the bees kept going, they found themselves in an arena that had food. So sucrose and pollen. And what the researchers did was they looked at video of bee behavior over 18 days. And they tried to make this experience as low stress as possible. So what did they find? Let's talk a little bit about the results. So first of all, they found that the bumblebees really liked rolling the balls. Uh -huh. And in fact, one of their bees actually rolled balls 117 times over those 18 days, really liked it. Um, they also found that once they explored that mobile ball area, they preferred it. They also found that it was more common for young bees to roll the balls. And you can see here what's been playing as I've been talking is some video of the bees actually playing with and rolling those balls. Let's talk about what this actually means. Do their results actually say that bees play? Let's get a little discussion going on. So we're gonna head back to those five rules of play to try and see if our bees rolling these wooden balls actually meet those five rules of play. So the first is rolling these balls is not functional. 
Um, the bees didn't seem to have any destination in mind. Um, they didn't try and eat them or mate with them. Um, and so there, there's not actually a functional role of playing with these, these little wooden balls. The second, they chose to roll the balls. They had options and they were not forced into anything. And onto that third rule of play, the rotation of the ball as it rolls is different than other movements that the bee would normally do. So a bee going to pollinate a flower, that does not track onto the rotation of rolling a ball. And they didn't actually roll any faster as the experiment went on, which a lot of animals do with functional tasks like eating or trying to find things. The animals get better at them as time goes on, but that's not the case with play. Um, and they didn't see that with our bees. The fourth rule of play, what the researchers saw was that um, the duration the distance and the route that the bees took with the balls were varied. There was no plan. Um, so they have this kind of creativity uh, with rolling the balls. Um, the researchers also did not find any stress indicators. Looking at the evidence for these five rules of play that our researchers collected, they decided that it was enough evidence to suggest that bees do in fact play. So what does this mean? Let's talk about some conclusions. So first of all, insects enjoy playing. And this might mean that insect minds are more complex than we have previously realized, and that we may need to think more closely about how we treat insects. And one way that we can do that is we can learn more about insect behavior. So I challenge you to go out there and do some research about your favorite insect. Anyway, I hope you learned something today and go play.